hello guys welcome back to special creations by nelly where i'm going to show you today how to make this beautiful party setup everything turned out beautiful so please if you want to see how everything turned out stay into the end and watch the whole video in the end i show you everything how everything came out um with that said thank you again for watching special creations by nelly and let's not forget to hit the like button and hit the little bell button if you want to get notified every time i post a new video with that said Thank you for watching Special Grace by Nelly. Let's get started into this video. So the first thing I did was my balloon garland, which I did all the colors, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blow them up. And you're gonna do them all one the same size. That's what I did, all the same size and all different colors. And then I did one big balloon so I could put it in the little middle. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my balloon strip and it brings two whole, one small and one big. You're gonna go ahead and take your balloon and place it in the big um hole and then you're just gonna go ahead and slide it down to the small hole, just like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab um, more balloons and you're gonna put it in the other side. And you're gonna continue doing this um, step until you fill out all your green balloons and then your pink balloons, just like that. It's pretty simple to do, guys. I'm just gonna slide it through. This is the easiest way so you guys. So you, as you can see, I finished with the um, green one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with a pink one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing the same process, putting it through the bigger hole and then sliding it down to the smaller ones. And I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing the pink one until I do the whole backdrop with all the colors. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and take the string. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it through the balloon and place it to the back from both sides, the bottom and the top. So then after that, I'm just gonna go ahead in the back and I'm gonna tie it to the clip, um, this um, backdrop clip, it comes to the backdrop, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it there, just like that. Then after that, as you can see, then I after I tie all of them together like that, this is how it would turn out. Super cute, guys. So then I grab one of these big balloons, this like 16 inches balloon. I will put the link where you can get them. These are amazing. They look super cute. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blow them up just like that and tie it in the bottom. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little string and tie it to the balloon just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and place it at the end of my backdrop like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it through the balloon. I just go ahead and slide it down through the balloon so it can stay in place. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take it and tie it to the back of the backdrop stand. And that's how I did the other one. That's how I hold the other balloons in place. I just tie it to the backdrop stand, just like that. So you're gonna do the same thing to all the balloons, just like that. So now to create the ice cream shop, what I did is I took um, six of these foam board from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna go ahead and place them together and I'm gonna attach it in the middle with um, tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue attaching the, all of them with tape until I'm done doing the whole um, attachment with the tape. Then once I was done, I went ahead and grabbed some of these crap stick and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it in the middle. I was trying to make it um, to be stronger, but the way that it worked better is just to take another foam board and put more foam board in the back. So then after that, I went ahead and grabbed a tablecloth and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on top. For this one, you will need two tablecloths because one will not be enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on top. Like that, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some tape and the way I'm going to hold it um, to the back is just putting tape like that. So I'm going to tape it all around it like that until I hold the tablecloth in place. Then after that, I went ahead and grabbed another foam board. And I'm going to measure to 15 inches. And that's how big I'm going to mark it down. Then I'm going to go ahead and take another foam board. You can use a ruler, whatever you have. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark it down just like that so i know where to cut it i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out just like that so with the extra piece that you have left over i'm just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue like that at the end on the edges and i'm just gonna go ahead and place it 
on top of my foam board that I just cut. And this is what's gonna be the top of the ceiling. So you're gonna make two of these. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue in the middle and on top as well, like that. And I'm gonna place it on top of the backdrop just like that. So then after I attach one side, I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna put the hot glue on the middle and then I'm gonna ha go ahead and grab my other side and attach it to it. I'm gonna attach it there and I'm also going to need to put some hot glue all around it as well. Then after that, I want something to hold it in place. I just measure the same size. I was 15 inches, so I'm gonna do 14 inches and then I'm just gonna go ahead and place it at the bottom. Like that so it can hold in place. And then to hold, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to the other, to the backdrop. I'm just gonna go ahead and put tape so I can hold the tablecloth in place. Just like that. I'm gonna do this whole thing until I do the whole thing. Then I went ahead and draw this little um, design and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue and tape it to the end. And I did different colors. You could do whatever color you have available. I did um, all colors one by one, which is the pink one, the yellow, and um, the purple as well, just like that. Then I went ahead and did this beautiful unicorn ice cream. I cut it in big, and I'm gonna go ahead. I tried doing it with hot glue, but it's not a good idea. So I changed my mind, and I did it with double-sided tape um, better, so it won't show. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue attaching my unicorn, just like that, so it can look super cute. I will try to put this unicorn in my Etsy shop, so just in case if you want to purchase them. I also got this beautiful party set of unicorn. It's super cute. It brings everything you could think of it. Table club, party paper bags, the unicorn horn. It, it's perfect. You will see it throughout the decorations. And I just want to put it out here. I will put the link down below where you could get this um, party decor. And this is how beautiful everything turns out, guys. I'm super proud of this decorations um i put a lot of work into it and it came out beautiful it looks more beautiful in person than what you really seen on the video for these favors um i will put the link down below because i did it last week so you can just check them out so you could do it yourself as well You guys, this is how beautiful the background turns out. These balloons are perfect. Uh, I really recommend it. They're amazingly beautiful. The table clock, the backdrop. This birthday came out super cute. This is the ice cream shop that I did. It came out fabulous as well. I just put a few balloons on top. The ice cream that I did as well. Everything turns out super cute. I hope you guys like it. And please let me know what you guys think. Comment down below letting me know what you guys think this is the table setup that i was telling you about about the favorite bags it came out super cute the kids really enjoy sitting there and creating their own things i i created an ice cream i did like a little ice cream um shop everything came out super cute guys i hope you guys like it please let me know what you guys think of these decorations if you like it or not and like i always say thank you for watching special creations by nelly i hope you like this video and remember, I always create something, I always try to create something beautiful for you guys where you don't have to spend a lot of money and at the same time, it can be fabulous. Thank you once again for watching Special Creations Finale.